Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customizing the Ubermax Niobe in GTA Online. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys. We are continuing our GT Online customization of the new DLC vehicles. We've got four left from the day one release. We've already customized two. We did the Coquette D1 a couple of days ago and yesterday we did this, the new Anis Euros X32. I was a big fan of both of those vehicles and I quite like the i8 in real life that is what this thing is based on for those of you who don't know um, i'm curious to see whether this thing is like electric or what and what kind of customization it's going to have so let's take it up to the custom shop and have a little look all right so here we are in the custom shop now this thing is not electric it does have a um, petrol engine you can probably hear there uh, this thing is in the sports category as well. So we'll go ahead and open up all the doors and things when we take it outside. But let's start off with the customization. Um, we've got arch covers to start with. Um, we've got no arch covers. We can go for the street. What does that actually change? Okay, so it just adds a little arch sort of cover on the rear wheel there. We've got the bolt-on version of that, and we've got the race, which adds some little um, no sort of race things on the fenders there. I don't know what you call them, little like louver things. Um, it's a very odd option for this vehicle, so I'm not really a fan of those. We'll go for full armor, full brakes, and then we move on to the bumper options. So the primary is red, the secondary is orange. So you guys can uh, see the difference. We can go for the extended trim. We've got a carbon version of that and a winged trim. And we've got a carbon version of the wing trim. And then we've got the performance trim. We've got a carbon version of that. And then we can go for an actual splitter. It even has the little strut mounts there, which I'm never really a fan of those, I have to admit. And we can go for the race with... Uh, sorry, the splitter with race intakes, which also adds some little canards on the uh, the front sort of bumper there on the sides. Um, I'm not really sure what we want to go for. I think maybe just the extended trim. That'll look quite good, and we'll just go for that in black. Rear bumper options. Now, it does have those cool little sort of cutouts above the tail lights just like the real vehicle has um, that's obviously for aerodynamics and things we can go for a full primary bumper we've got a carbon bumper and we can go for the stock but with a diffuser we can go for a secondary accent diffuser we've got the diffuser bridge down there and we've got a secondary accent version of that not really a fan of any of those, and I do like the black on the rear. It looks a little bit sportier, I guess is the right word. Um, it looks a bit more like the real vehicle, so we'll leave that alone. Engine options. We don't have any visual engine options, but we can go ahead and increase the power a little bit there. Exhaust options next. So we can't actually see the stock exhaust. We can go for a rounded bore which adds this sort of slap in the middle there. We can go for a twin rounded bore. We got the sharpened bore, the twin sharpened bore. We can go for a twin exit, just a round generic exhaust. We've got a carbon version of that. Uh, sorry, a titanium version of that. Then we've got the triple exit and we've got the triple titanium. Um, I'm actually going to leave it stock because it's kind of cool that you can't see the exhaust. I don't think this thing looks right with exhaust sticking out of the back of it. So we'll leave that alone. Grill options next. We've got the stock grill. We can go for a primary grill. Now the stock grill is secondary. You can just tell there. 
Um, so we can go for a primary version, we've got a carbon version, then we can go for the grated grill. We can make this thing look sort of like an 8 series if we want, 8 series kind of grill. We've got the horizontal grill, we got a mesh grill, a ridged grill and a race grill. Um, I can't actually see the difference with those because it is so dark and it's not really coming across on the camera either. I'm going to go for the race grill because I kind of like that it's black, that looks cool. Um, hood options next. So we've got the stock hood. We can go for a secondary hood. So that black part just becomes secondary colour. We can go for a trim hood driver. Oh, okay. So there is actually like a little vent you can see down there and it just splits that vent in half. Um, we've got a secondary version of that. Then we've got the smoothed hood. We've got a secondary version of that as well. We've got the trim intake cover. And we've got a secondary version of that. So it basically just adds some vents in there. And then we've got the twin vented. So if you don't want that sort of um, black bit in the middle, you can just go for that. I do actually kind of like that. But I do like... I do like that option as well. Ooh, this is a tough decision. Um, I'm not a fan of this one where it's split in half. That looks a bit strange. I think we're going to leave it stock, to be honest. I think that looks quite good. Light options. They're pretty white, to be standard. Um, we can go for Xenon ones as well. And of course, you can go ahead and change those in the car meet. Or in the arena workshop to whatever colour you like. Livery options next. We've got the arrow stripe. We've got a black arrow stripe. Then we've got the white contour. Um, so it just adds some stripes on the side and on the roof. We've got a black version of that as well. Then we've got the old school iconic. And an old school grey scale version. We've got the Radiance, which is sort of like the sort of old school one just with extra stripes on the bonnet there and on the front. We've got Beast 76. Uh, we've got Modular Race. Okay, so if you want to build this thing into a race car, I quite like that livery actually. That's pretty cool. That is a unique looking thing. And we've got the what Dense Electric. I'm not a huge fan of that one with all the lightning on it, but this one's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go for a sort of a like a sort of modified street build with it. Um, but if you wanted to build it into a race car, it is it is there as an option. Mirror options next. So the mirrors are quite big on this thing. They're sort of half black and half primary to match the sort of bonnet and the side. You can go for full primary, you can go for full secondary, or you can go for the carbon mirrors, which are half carbon, half primary. We've got the custom mirrors, we've got full primary custom. So these are more sort of like the M performance kind of mirrors. They have that sort of little vortex thing on the side. Uh, we've got the secondary version of that. Then we've got the carbon custom, and then we have the race mirrors as well. I'm going to leave them just stock, actually. I think that looks quite good. Um, the plate options, I'm going to leave it standard, but of course we've got the new Sprunk and E. Cola ones. So if you wanted to blend it into the bodywork, if you wanted to keep this thing red, I'm going to change up the colour of this thing. How many cars you got but you've world? got those as options. We'll come back to paints at the end as we always do but we've got a trim option which is nice to see roof options next we've got the stock roof we can go for a secondary roof we've got a carbon version then we can add a little shark aerial we can go for some vortex generators we can go for a secondary roof with shark aerial or a secondary roof with vortex generators then we've got the carbon with the aerial and the carbon with the vortex generators and then we have the roof scoop as well if you are building this thing as a race car uh, and then we've got a secondary version with the roof scoop and a carbon version uh, i'm just going to go for the 
primary with the shark aerial. That looks pretty nice. It's quite clean looking, but just looks a little bit better. Uh, skirt options next. So we've got this kind of cool skirt going on. It's got like a little secondary accent. And then it has the sort of black plastic, which we have going on sort of all around the vehicle. We've got it on the mirrors, on the hood there, and on the back as well. Um, so we can go for primary skirts. We've got secondary skirts. We can go for carbon skirts. Then we've got the slipstreamed skirt. We've got a street skirt. Secondary street skirt. A carbon street skirt. And we've got the winged skirt. We've got a secondary version of that. We've got a carbon version of that. And then we can just go for canards. That looks very strange. Um, I feel like we should go for one of these. Because we did sort of increase that little lip on the front. It's kind of like a little splitter. I guess we'll just go for carbon. Uh, do we want to go for the slipstreamed one? Just adds a little fin down there. Um, maybe we'll go for the carbon street skirt. That looks no pretty good. We'll go with that. Spoiler options next. Now, I don't think the real i8 has a spoiler. So I'm not sure what it's going to look like with a spoiler. We've got the lip spoiler. We can go for a duck tail. So it's just the same thing, but in a different colour. We've got the secondary ducktail, then we've got the trim sport spoiler, Whatever we've got a carbon is. version of that, Technology and we've got the GT wing, the GT wing mark 2, we've got the bumper mounted, so I like the chassis mounted one, and we've got the race wing. I don't think any of those look right on this vehicle, uh, so we're going to just leave that. Suspension options. Uh, we've got a fairly decent drop. Um, it's not massive, but this thing is already quite low. The arch gap isn't terrible, so I'm actually going to leave it at the standard ride height. Because I think it's uh, it's pretty good, how it already is. We'll go for full transmission and turbo tuning. Now the wheel options, I believe these are... Um, special wheels for this car so they're only available on this vehicle i can't think of any other vehicles in gt online that have these specific vehicle uh specific wheels but please let me know in the comment section if i am wrong i like i said earlier i don't play a lot of gt online anymore so remembering what cars have what wheels has kind of gone out the window I'll go ahead and pick some wheels that I think will suit this thing a little bit better because I'm not a huge fan of these, I have to admit. And I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I found these wheels in the SUV category. They're called Sunrise, and I've gone ahead and painted them black as well. I think they look pretty good on this thing. They kind of look like um, sort of 8 Series wheels a little bit. Um, so... Yeah, I think they'll look quite nice. Um, I have an idea of what colour I want to paint this thing. And I think that's going to look quite good with the black. And obviously we've got the black accents all around the vehicle as well. So I think that will blend in quite nicely. We'll go ahead and apply the bulletproof tyres as well. And we'll just tint that window just to a light smoke. It does tint the rear window as well. And there we go. That is the thing fully customized. We'll just go ahead and paint this thing now. Now I'm thinking for this vehicle, obviously in real life, it's sort of an a light blue color, like an ultra blue. So let's just have a look how it looks in that color to start off with. But I think I want to go with a purple for this thing. Yeah, the ultra blue does look quite good. The light blue does as well. Um, obviously that's sort of what colour it would be in real life. I've seen them in white as well. Let's have a quick look how it looks in white. I think that would suit this thing quite well as well. Yeah, the ice white is very clean. But I'm thinking a purple with this thing might actually look quite unique. I don't think a lot of people would paint this thing purple. And yeah, I do actually quite like that. So we're going to go for a metallic bright purple. 
and we're going to go for a pearlescent, um, I think a pearlescent sort of purple colour as well, or maybe we'll go for like a hot pink. Um, let's actually go down to the pink section here. Maybe like a salmon pink actually looks quite good. Um, the fister pink, yes, we'll go with that, I think. That looks very good. It looks a little bit odd with all the orange going on. Um, but let's go ahead and actually see what that would look like if we painted that white. We could have some little accents going on around the vehicle. That looks kind of radical. Um, I'm not sure whether I like that or whether I just want that to blend in with the rest of the car. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like in purple. It looks a little bit better, to be honest. That looks pretty nice. I like that. The bright purple with fur Fister pearlescent pink. We have got interior options. So I believe the interior of this is taken out of another vehicle. I could be wrong. This could be a custom interior for this vehicle. But I'm guessing not. Rockstar haven't been putting a lot of effort into their uh, new vehicles recently. They've just been adding a few different bumper options and what have you. Uh, let's go ahead and paint it purple to match the outside. Just see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, I think that's a little bit too much purple. So we'll just go ahead and leave that black. I think that looks pretty good. And there we go. That is my customization. Uh, let's go ahead and take this thing outside onto the street. See what kind of performance it has and we'll open up the doors and things like that. Okay, here we are outside in the Ubermac Niobe in this beautiful uh, purple paint job. I think it looks very, very nice. I don't know what you guys think of it, whether I should have gone for a ultra blue like it is in real life or a white maybe. But I wanted to try something a little bit different and I think the purple really just stands out. I think if you painted it this color and took it to a car show, it would look very, very unique. Now, something that I did like about this vehicle, we'll just go ahead and park it up here. Listen very carefully to what happens when you turn this thing on and off. Can you guys hear that? There's like a very weird sound when you turn the car on. It makes like a ding noise. That is very, very unique. I've, I don't think any other vehicle in the game does that. All right, here we go with all the um, doors open. It kind of looks like an insect with the doors open. And now you can see what I mean, how the doors open is very, very strange. They're sort of halfway between scissor doors and gullwing doors i don't know what you call these kind of doors let me know in the comment section uh, in the front we've got uh, nothing really just the radiator and the battery obviously this thing is rear engine so the engine is in the back there we've got a pretty detailed engine cover actually but just like all new vehicles it's all plasticky so we can't actually see much of the engine uh, the interior, like I said, I'm not sure if this is stolen from one of the other vehicles or whether this is a custom interior, um, but it's fairly nice. It fits with this vehicle quite well, um, and I do like how the doors open. I think that is pretty cool. Um, there's some little vents and things going on, on down here, which uh, is a nice extra little bit of detail. We don't usually get that sort of thing from Rockstar, and you can see here how it has that little gap in the rear fender just like the real vehicle for aerodynamics all right let's have a little look at the headlights so the main beams are just like that and they're just on and off so there's no extra little hidden lights anywhere um the tail lights on this thing are just pretty generic as well um they're just sort of like little leds but they're kind of cool they sort of look like the real life vehicle so what do I think of this vehicle? Well, I think it's about time that they added the i8 to the game. It's been a long time 
um, adding this vehicle. I don't know when the i8 came out, but it was quite a few years ago now. So um, I'm sure there'll be some BMW collectors that are very happy that this thing has been added to the game. Personally, I am quite a fan of the i8 in real life. I think it's a nice looking vehicle and I think it's a good addition to GTA Online. Again, I think this is going to be another NPC car from GTA 6, which has just been added to GTA Online as a bit of extra content. But it's got some decent customization. Um, I think the purple looks quite good on this. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know whether you're going to be buying this vehicle in GTA Online. Um, I think I will be. I do like this thing. Um, but that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. We're going to be customizing another vehicle tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And I will see you in the next video.